engineering students, here's a, a little video on linkages to help us. So it's my automata. It's actually went through a bit of a change in the last couple hours. I decided to add this like kind of little bridge or fence thing and Mickey will just kind of poke his head out from behind there. Uh, to do that, I'll need my Mickey right here to come farther, as far down as it can in the cam's kind of lowest stage. So I need my follower attached to a position here. Now in my last video, I just had attached the corner to here and boom, we were done. But we can't really do that now because there's got to be some distance that we have between. It can be pretty close, but I would say not too close. So I kind of just put it in a position and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to inspect and I'm going to measure from the back of Mickey to the front of my follower and a point three two zero and I'm gonna make a little linkage that is 0.375. Bring it off a bit and it's 3 eighths. It's a little bit easier to work with than random decimals. So I'm gonna go ahead and select create and I'm gonna call this uh, my Mickey head linkage. And I'm just gonna click off to the side anywhere. Then I'm gonna sketch. And now I have to think about what this is going to look like. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to sketch on this plane a two-point rectangle. And I said this needs to be 0.375 and that needs to be... In this case, I'm going to go... I'll go 0.375 as well. And I'm going to hit finish sketch. I'm going to extrude that three millimeters and return. So I'm going to take this piece as we see it now I just created and I'm going to glue it to my follower and then to the back of Mickey. So this is going to come down this way. Yeah, it'll be somewhere there. So I'm going to go ahead and do some constraining here. I'll constrain it to this follower first. So I'm going to say here is going to be glued to here. Okay. Apply. Then this and the, not that. This and this will be flush. Like that. And so now I can move left and right and I'm going to attach that and glue that to Mickey. So what am I going to do here? I think I'm going to double this piece up. So I'm going to copy and paste this piece and I'll cut out two of these. So I'll make sure those are flush. I'm gonna put that and that together, apply. And then I will make sure this piece here is constrained to my back follower. There we go. Apply. So that's roughly a quarter inch. It's not perfect, but now I can kind of flush out the sides there. There's a little bit of a gap here. There's a little difference there, but that's fine. That's negligible. But now that I have that piece there, I can actually attach it to the back of my Mickey face. Now, since I want my Mickey to be a little bit farther down in this case, I did have a line on there before. So I'm going to open up my Mickey. I'm going to go to that back. And I am going to get rid of the constraint that put the midpoint of that line there. So to show constraints, I am going to hit... Uh, well, it's not showing up here. If I go into the sketch, it'll help. <laughs> there we go. So F8 will show the constraint where I placed it. So I'm going to click on that straight and I'm going to delete it. Now I should be able to move this up, which I can. So now I'm going to see if I can just dimension it from the top there. And I'm going to make this 0.125, just an arbitrary dimension I put on there. I'm going to finish that sketch. Save that piece. I'll close it. 
and now I'm going to constrain and I'm going to say I want this surface to be in line with that and then that point right there apply and then finally here's the thing this should be able to swing on it which I don't want yeah don't want that to swing on there so I'm going to say this is going to sit flush or sit mated with that back piece and again I'll just glue that there so now if I just quickly look at my thing here I've got Mickey going up and down <clears throat> looking good and not too bad I like what I see so again that's just a short five six minute video on linkages and just adding some pieces there what I would laser cut out glue it together put it there